Thank you for tuning in to HR Revivals. It's always the hour for revival. I'm your brother in the Lord, Brother HR, and it's always the hour for revival. I'm happy to be here with you today. I've got a word for the body of Christ for the body today, and it's called Baby Grow Up. If you ain't never heard a message on spiritual maturity, you need to hear this one today. You're going to enjoy it. God is going to bless you. He is going to change your life forever. I'm telling you, God is in the place today. Miracles are going to happen. Deliverances are going to happen. God is in the miracle working business today. You know what? He cannot be fired and you cannot retire him. He'll never retire and you can't fire him because he's a miracle working God of heaven. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah for the power and the presence of the Lord God today. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Father, Hide me behind the cross. Let it be none of me, but all of you. Speak through these lips of clay. Let everybody leave here singing. I got just what I wanted from the Lord in Jesus' name. Amen. God is going to give you a miracle today. Turn with me to Hebrews 12. Bless everybody, Lord, watching in Jesus' name. Hebrews 12, 4 through 10. Hebrews 12, 4 through 10. And I want to entitle this message today, Baby Grow Up. And it's talking about spiritual maturity in the house of God. God wants His house to grow up and grow out of how they've been living. He don't want us just living the mundane Christian life. He wants us to live past our flesh, past our understanding. And I'm going to show you how today in this important message for the body of Christ entitled Baby Grow Up. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord. And like I said, I prayed that the Lord would use this message for His glory and not for mine. Amen. Father, hide me behind the cross. It'll be none of me, but all of you. Speak through these little clay. Everybody leave here singing. I got just what I wanted from the Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. Turn with me now to Hebrews 12, 4 through 10. Hebrews 12, 4, bless the Lord, through 10. Amen. Ye have not yet resisted unto blood, striving against sin. How do we resist the devil? We resist him by the blood of the Lamb. They overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. Bless the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord. We got to overcome the devil by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of our testimony. But how do we do that? We do it through the blood of Jesus. We come not striving against flesh and blood. We don't come against flesh and blood because our battle is not with flesh and blood, but against every principality and power of darkness of this world. We are fighting a spiritual battle and the only way, bless the Lord, we're ever going to get anywhere in God is to learn to grow up. Learn to grow up, learn to grow out of what we're going through. Amen. We're growing up, we're growing out, and we're growing through. Amen. We're growing through the trials and tribulations. Hey, everybody. Hey, Sister Grace. Hey, Sister uh, Hallelujah. Hey, Sister, uh, bless the Lord, Sister Me. Sister Meek, hello, 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 hallelujah. Bless everybody, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. But it says in chapter 12, verse 4, Ye have not yet resisted unto blood, striving against sin. Oh, my, that's powerful. Thank you, Jesus. He said, resist the devil and you will flee. he will flee from you. How do you resist the devil? Through the blood of Jesus, you've got to get in to a place of the blood. you got to get in. Bless the Lord under the blood. And until you get under the blood, you're always going to live like you're in the flesh. Because the flesh strives to fulfill itself. But the blood causes you to come out of your flesh and step into your faith zone. And I'm telling you today, by the Holy Ghost, I love you, Lord. Baby, grow up. It's time the church grow up. Now, I'm not talking about those who just got born again last week or last month or last year. I'm talking about those who've been living 30, 40 years in the Lord and still have not got nothing in, in their life from the Lord. They're still not living for Jesus. That's... I didn't know I messed that up. Somebody texted me and I just lost the video right there, but I'm back. Hallelujah. I hope y'all still with me. Thank you, Jesus. Hello, everybody. Praise the Lord. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Bless the Lord. And ye have forgotten the extortion exhortation which speaketh unto you as unto children my sons despise not thou the chastening 
of the Lord, nor faint when thou art rebuked of him. Bless the Lord. Amen. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. God wants you to allow you to be used of Him. He wants to allow you to be blessed in Him. Bless the power of God and in the place today. I feel the glory of God on this message. Hallelujah. Uh, all right, devil, in Jesus' name, I bind every spirit coming against this message. Get off of that phone line, devil, in Jesus' name. By the blood of the Lamb, hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah, Lord, hallelujah, bless the Lord. And ye have forgotten the exhortation, bless the Lord, which speaketh unto you as unto children. My son, despise not thou the chastening of the Lord, nor faint when thou art rebuked of him. Bless the Lord, hallelujah. Mm, glory. You get what I'm saying? Bless the Lord for the power of God and the salvation. For whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth and scourgeth every son who he receiveth. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Bless the Lord. If ye endure chastening, God dealeth with you as one of the sons. For the son is whom the father chasteneth. Wait, wait, wait. If you endure chastening, God dealing with you as a son. For what son is he whom the father chasteneth not? My Lord, we're going to have spiritual rebuke sometimes. Now look at this. Christ took the correction of the father. He took the stripes for us. He who knew no sin became sin for us. He took the whipping we deserved. What a great big brother Jesus is. He took the whipping we deserved because it talks about the whipping of the Lord right there. The correction, the chastening of the Lord. He took our chastening on himself. But my friends, we are not without rebuke. We are going to be rebuked to the Lord at one point or another in our lives. Several times for several of us, we keep getting rebuked of God because he loves us and he wants us to come out from among them. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. I bless the Lord for the power of God under, the, under salvation. Hallelujah. Holy Ghost. Bless the Lord. The power of God is strong here today. And I'm telling you, if we'll just come under the glory of the Lord, come under his correction. Bless the Lord. Come and sit under under his anointing. Bless you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord. He said that there was coming a day where no man would have to teach you anything because the glory of the Lord was going to be upon you. You were going to learn from him. It's time we sit under his anointing instead of sitting under man's. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord. I ain't despising people going to church. I'm for it. Bless you, Holy Ghost. and love you, Lord. I'm for godly counsel, but what I'm not for is people following a man instead of following the cross of Calvary. We need to learn to follow Jesus more and follow man less. Bless the Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord Jesus. Are you hearing what I'm saying today? we got to learn to grow up, spiritually become mature in the mercies of God. Quit living for our yesterday and start living to, for God today. Bless your Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord. Bless the Lord for the power of God. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Somebody needs to be delivered from a self-righteous spirit. You're going to be delivered today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord. Bless the Lord for the power of God. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord. God is going to do miracles right now. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. For whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth. But if you be without chastenment, wherefore are you partakers? Then are you bastards and not sons? He said the word that they were bastard children if they would not let him correct them. Remember, the, 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 the foolishness is locked up in the heart of the child, but the rod of God drives it from him. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Bless the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah forevermore, Lord. God wants us to learn to grow in God so we can learn to go in God. Bless you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord. It's time we take the spiritual pampers off and get back into the presence of God. It's time we go from the milk back into the meat. It's time we get off the breast milk and get on the glorious meat of the Word of God. Because let me tell you, there's so many people in the house of God today who are spiritually malnourished. Bless your Holy Ghost. They got a form of godliness, but they deny the power because they do not know that they can walk in the power of the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord. I love you, Jesus. There is some dry, dead religious church, dry as last year's corn crop, but I want you to know, bless the Lord for the power of God. If you'll get under a godly covering with a godly man and 
ungodly woman of faith, they will change your life forever. My pastors, Chris and Yvonne, I love them with all my heart. And I tell you what, I sit in a ministry that knows the power of faith. I know my pastors. They know me. And I'm excited about preaching at their church tomorrow. I just might as well throw that plug in there. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Bless everybody, Lord. <laughs> I might as well put that plug in there. I'm going to be preaching tomorrow at the, uh, so uh, Lord have mercy, at the, uh, Gathering place. The gathering is where I'm going to be preaching tomorrow night. Bless your Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord. You don't want to miss that message entitled, When You Find Yourself in a Dear Situation. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Bless the Lord. That message will be uploaded late tomorrow night, but I wanted to go ahead and share that with you so you didn't think I was uh, missing tomorrow when you didn't see the video up earlier than today. <laughs> Bless everybody, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> I'll tell you, if you can't have fun in God, then you're already dead. Thank you, Lord. If you can't laugh in God, bless the Lord, then you're already dead. Friends, let me tell you something. Let me tell you, if you can have less fun at church than you could at the club, then you got something wrong with your salvation. If you can't dance and mm, 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 for Jesus, if you can't do that for God, then there's something wrong with your salvation, something wrong with your faith. you got to get right with God and get out of religious mindset, mentality of, well, God don't want me to have no fun. Bull, God wants you to have fun because let me tell you something. He's a God of fun. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord. Bless the power of God. Thank you, Jesus. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. If you can have fun at the club but not have fun in the house of God, what good is your salvation? He came to give you life and life more abundantly. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord. God wants you to have a good time in him. He wants you to have fire and fun and fellowship. Bless you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord. And by the way, hello to Sister Grace. Hello to Sister Kathy. Hello to Sister Donna. Hello to Brother brother uh, Pastor and Apostle Brother Kevin. God bless you. I love you. Praise the Lord. Brother Riley, I love you. In Jesus' name, hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Bless the Lord for all of his promises which are yea and amen. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Let me go ahead a little bit further. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Holy Ghost. Bless the Lord. Amen. Furthermore, we have had fathers of our flesh, which were correct us, and we gave them reverence. Bless the Lord. Shall we not much rather be in subject unto the Father of spirits and live? Bless the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord. I do love you, Jesus, for the power of God in this place today. Bless you, Lord. What am I saying? We we got to learn to fear the Lord. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. What is the begin? What is the fear of the Lord? The fear of the Lord is not, oh God, he's going to strike me with a lightning bolt. Oh God, I'm going to be destroyed. No, that ain't the fear of the Lord. The fear of the Lord is, Father, I love you. I don't want to break your heart. Lord, I'm going to stop doing what I've been doing. I want to follow you, Jesus. That's the fear of the Lord. I heard a rabbi tell me one time, don't tell me you love me. Find out what breaks my heart. Don't do it and then you show me you love me. Jesus said, if you love me, keep my commandments. How? By living in correction. Living in a life willing to be rebuked by God, willing to repent if you do get rebuked. That's how you live a godly, holy life. You resist the devil by submitting your life to the blood of Jesus. Submit yourself to God. Come under the blood. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. That's how you live holy. That's how you resist the works of the devil. You put your life in the hands of God and he will put his life and his glory and his power I love you, Lord, in your hands, friends. He'll put his glory in your hands. You will be able to pray for people and then be healed because it's God in you, not you at all. He said, not by mind nor by power. That's of your own understanding. But by my spirit, says the Lord. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Bless the Lord God forevermore. Thank you, Jesus. I do love you, Lord. The only way you can walk in the power is you got to mature in the mercy. You got to you got to mature in the Lord. You got to mature in the power of the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord. If God tells you not to go somewhere, don't go there. If He tells you to go somewhere, get up off of your blessed assurance and do something. Go and do what God tells you to do, and what He tells you not to do, don't do that thing. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Bless the Lord. Because the reason God wants you to mature. It's so you can carry something. 
Bless you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord. God don't want babies making babies in the Spirit. He wants you to mature so you can carry something to the people. Hallelujah. I do love you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I bless the Lord for this message today. Thank you, Jesus. I'm sorry for any interruptions earlier, but thank God for everybody that's tuned in with me that stayed a part of this message because everybody who stayed tuned, oh, they, they could, and those that had to leave, I understand, but those who have stayed tuned, thank you so much. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord. God wants you to mature spiritually so you can grow. Bless your Lord spiritually. Amen. I do love you, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. For they are verily for a few days chasing us after their own pleasure, but for our profit, that we may be partakers of His holiness. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord Jesus. When you fall, get under the presence of God for a few days. Get under the glory. Stay there. Get in the presence of the Lord. Let Him transform your life again. Let Him change you. I love you, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord, for the presence of God and the power of God in this place today. It's powerful. I feel the anointing of the Holy Ghost mighty and powerfully on me right now. Bless the Lord for his power. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord Jesus. Thank you for your strength, Lord. Bless the Lord. Amen. Turn with me now, friends, to 1 Corinthians. I'm getting ready to use that binky for those who <laughs> for those who didn't know. Uh, I've got a little surprise. Bless you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord. For the people of God, I'm going to use a little bit of an illustration in this message. Bless the Lord. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Anybody wants to cry about the way I'm doing this video, you want to complain about it, I'll give you the binky afterwards. Send me your address, I'll send you the binky. If you want to complain about the way God is ministering through me, bless you, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord Jesus. Let the glory fall. I love you, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. 1 Corinthians 3 and 1, bless the Holy Ghost, I do love you, Lord, amen. And I, brethren, bless the Lord, could not speak unto you under spiritual, but as under carnal, even as unto babes in Christ. I have fed you with milk and not with meat, for a hit throw, wherever you go, you were not able to hear it. Mm, do you hear what I'm saying? They were not able to hear it because they had milk instead of meat. They were spiritually dying because they were malnourished in the mercies of God. They were malnourished in God. They had the truth but didn't have the whole truth. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Bless you, Lord Jesus. Like Jack Nicholson said, you want the truth, you can't handle the truth. Why? Because they're on milk instead of meat of the Word of God. Bless you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord, for the power of God. Hallelujah. I do love you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Are you understanding what I'm saying? Thank you, Jesus. For ye are, you are yet carnal, for where there is among you envy and strife, Division, are ye not carnal and walk as men? We're supposed to walk as sons of God because he who is led by the Spirit of God are the sons of God. Hallelujah. I do love you, Holy Ghost, for the presence of God here today. If you're led by the Spirit of God, you're the sons of God. It's time we get out of the milk and get into the meat. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord Jesus. Bless the Lord. Some of you might get mad at what I'm about to do. Put your steel-toed shoes on in the Spirit and just get over it because I'm preaching right now in the Holy Ghost. And if you get a offended by what he told me to do, then you got offended with God, because let me tell you, I said, Lord, you don't care what I little I do you, and the Lord said, son, you got it easier doing what I'm getting ready to tell you to do, we're getting ready to do what I'm about to do, bless your Holy Ghost, thank you, Lord, hallelujah, he said, you got it easier than the other prophet, bless your Holy Ghost, thank you, Lord, I said, what do you mean, he said, my other prophet, and he called the name out, he said, he actually, I told him to strip off his clothes, and I think it was two or three years, he walked through the city naked. I'm telling you what, thank you, Holy Ghost, bless the Lord Jesus. I'm going to show you like he did, just how silly the church is acting. Let me tell you, if you're going to act like anything, act like you know what you're doing in God. Bless you, Holy Ghost, I do love you, Lord Jesus, for the power of God. Thank you, Jesus, amen. He said there's strife, and there was, was division, and they were crying and murmuring and complaining. They were this way. 
Oh, oh, my, oh, oh, my favorite pew in church. Oh, oh, I want this. I want that. <laughs> Bless you, Lord. They were acting like foolish babies who had needed their tail spanked. Because I'm telling you, I love you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I do love you, Lord. If what I'm doing can save a soul, I don't care how silly I look. If you're not willing to tell that person that you're friends with, that what they're doing is sin in their life, and it's offensive unto God, and it's offensive unto everybody else, then you don't love them enough to keep them out of the pit of hell. If you, oh, shut up, old son. Oh, I don't want to offend them. I, I don't want to take... I don't want to take their pacifier out of their mouth. I don't want to make them upset with me. Bless your Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord. It's time we start ticking some people off because we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers of the air. It's time, bless your Lord, that we walk in the power of God Almighty. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. I'm going to give me some water. That's all right. Bless the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord. Amen. I do love you, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. It's time we get rid of the binky mentality. It's time we trade the binky for Bibles. It's time we trade the milk for meat. That's why he said, bring you all the tithes under the storehouse. There might be meat in my house. Bring me something I can bring the people. They had enough of milk. They were dying because they were spiritually malnourished. But God spoke to the people. He said, you robbed me. They say, how have we robbed you? In the tithes and in the offerings, he said, I'm not preaching about money right here. I'm saying that they were robbing. They were robbing. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Holy Ghost. Listening to you on Jerry. <laughs> Thank you, Sister Sherry. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Brother Patrick. Hallelujah. <laughs> They said, you better preach that. I love you, Sister Sherry. God bless you. Hallelujah. I love you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord. I do love you, Jesus. Friends, if we're afraid to tell people the truth, then we're too afraid to keep them out of the pit of hell. Because the Bible said, if you see your brother living in sin and don't tell him, he said, the blood I will require of your hands. So either you've got a choice. Your blood can be on the hands of your family. That, that, their blood can be on your hands, on your friend's hands, or your hands can be clean of the blood of their life by putting your life in the hands of the blood of Jesus. You can overcome all obstacles. You can overcome fear of even talking to people if you put your life in the hands of the blood of Jesus. Get rid of that binky mentality. Break free from the bondage of the binky. Bless your Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Get off of the milk and get on the meat. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Bless you, Lord Jesus. Stop fighting over who got whose parking spot. Let me tell you, when we stand before God and we're talking to the saints of old and they say, well, I laid my life down for the gospel or I did this for the Lord and he done a great miracle. What are you going to say? Well, I complain because somebody stole my favorite part in the church. Oh, no, I can't do that. Oh, I can't do that. Oh, Lord, who am I to do that? Who aren't you to do that? You're a son and daughter of God. You may not be perfect yet, but let me tell you what, you sure are pure in the eyes of God like you never sinned if you come under the blood of Jesus. If you come and let Him change you, bless your Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord Jesus. Turn with me quickly to 1 Corinthians 13 and I close. Bless the Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord. Bless the power of God unto salvation. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Glory. Hallelujah. First Corinthians 13, 9 through 13. Bless you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. Listen to this. I do love you, Lord. Hey, Amen. What about this? Today is Friday the 13th. Everybody like, oh, Lord. Friday the 13th. No wonder everything's giving you trouble on the phone, brother. <laughs> Bless everybody, Lord. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. They say, oh, it's Friday the 13th. Oh, it's bad. Oh, this. Oh, that. Oh, my Lord, it's so bad. Let me tell you something. This is going to be a revelation to you. Okay, it's Friday the 13th. 
But let me ask you this. Think about this one moment. Friday the 13th, it's a time of scariness, right? Time for a lot of crazy stuff. What if you died tonight and found out in heaven that for 40 years of your ministry you never matured in God and walked into what he called you to walk into? That would be so scary to die without ever walking into what God had intended for your life to become. Glory, hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Somebody better say amen to that. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord. If y'all don't like what I'm saying, just say ouch or something. If it, if it hits you right, just say ouch. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. <laughs> For the glory for the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord Jesus. If y'all say ouch, I promise not to tell who you was. <laughs> oh, Lord, hallelujah. Glory, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord Jesus. Let the glory fall. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. 1 Corinthians 13, 9 through 13. Bless the Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord. Amen. For now, we know in part, we prophesy in part. But when that which is perfect has come, then that which is in part shall be done away. Thank you, Jesus. I love to say this all the time. I'm perfect not on that day, not this day. Amen. I'm on that day. I will be perfect. Not this day. Amen. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. I like to say it, bless the Lord, that on that day I'm going to be perfect and nobody's going to be around to see it. <laughs> Except the angels and my family who's gone on before me into glory land. Hallelujah. Bless you, Holy Ghost. For the power of God and the salvation. Thank you, Jesus. I love you, Lord. I'm going to be perfect on that day. Until that day comes, I'm still going to falter from time to time. That's why he said, I would encourage you to sin not. But if you do falter, you have an advocate with the Father. Hallelujah. I do love you, Holy Ghost, for the power of God and the salvation. Thank you, Jesus. It's time we learn again who we are and whose we are. We are sons and daughters of the Most High God. And it's, you know, we are sons and daughters of the King. Praise God. Praise God. I'm a child of the King. Oh, His royal blood. Now flows through my veins. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Praise God. Praise God. I'm a child of the King. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord Jesus. If you get under His blood, you'll never be the same. Bless your Holy Ghost for the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. I do love you, Lord Jesus. When I was a child, now the Bible says, the original translation of this scripture, I'm going to tell you this. It says, he who, the Bible said, he who hateth his son will not chasteneth his child. He does not love his child if he will not chasten his child. People say, well, spare the rod, spoil the child. That ain't what it said. It says in the Bible, the man who spares the rod hates his child. Now, that's pretty rough language right there. Bless your Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord Jesus. Let the glory fall, Lord. But I'm telling you what. They're too afraid to hurt the church. That's why they end up getting hurt by the church. Because they're too afraid to stand up and speak truth into the ears of the people because they don't want to be offended. Oh, bless the Lord. Oh, I don't want to offend my brothers and sisters. Oh, I want to be good. I want to be happy. No. God wants you holy. He don't want you hurting in the body. He wants you healed in your body. He wants you to be filled with the Holy Ghost and fire. I do love you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Shaka Sanda. Bless the Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord. Amen. When I was a child, I spoke, bless the Lord. Verse 11, when I was a child, I spake as a child. I understood as a child. I thought as a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish things. What does he mean, baby? Grow up. Quit fighting over each other. Quit, ble quit fighting and quit. Quit fighting and quit arguing, quit fussing, quit bickering, backbiting, each other, sheep bite, friends, amen, bless your Holy Ghost, I do love you, Lord, that's why the shepherd's got to separate the sheep sometimes, that's why not every sheep can work together, because how can two walk together that's in love, lest they agree, because you are not always going to agree with what I preach, but if you agree with me in love, bless your Holy Ghost, I do love you, Lord, for your presence and your power, Lord, God, 
God is going to change your situation if you walk in love one for the other. I do love you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. Somebody needs to get delivered from the spirit of offense today in the body of Christ. I don't know who that's for, but God is going to deliver somebody from a spirit of offense. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord Jesus. I hope I still got friends out of this video is over with, though, because a lot of people may not like this kind of preaching. <laughs> That's all right, though. Bless your Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord Jesus. Friends, if I die today, at least I have told you the truth, and my hands are free from blood. But if your life is not free in God, and you're living like the devil, and I didn't warn you, then I would be responsible for your life, because the Bible said... Pray for those who give an account. He said, pray for those who pastor over your life, for they will give an account for your soul. That don't mean your sins they are going to have to answer for you. We're going to have to answer for our own life. That's why we're going to walk out our own salvation with fear and trembling. But us pastors are going to have to answer for every word we preach from this Bible. Bless you, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord Jesus. That's why when I read the Word of God now, I want, the, uh, I want to make sure I'm right on the money. I've always been right in the Lord because, now somehow I slip up. That's what I'm saying. But the Word is always going to be right when you say it even if you slip in what you're saying, amen? Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. We're all guilty of offense. We're all guilty of being offended. Even Christ said for them not to be offended, but he said this night you'll be offended of me because I'm going to go away, but I'm going to come again. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. For now, verse 12, when we now see through... Wait, he said, I understood as a child, thought as a child, but when I became a man, I put away child of sin. What did he say? He said, I want to make in myself one. He wanted to make in himself one new man. Hallelujah. Holy Ghost. Glory. Hallelujah. God wants us to grow up so we can learn to carry the things in the spirit that he wants us to carry. Bless the Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord, for your power and for your presence. Hallelujah. Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord. For this message today. Thank you, Jesus. I love you, Lord. Amen. Verse 13. Now abideth faith, hope, and charity. And the greatest of these. Glory. The greatest of these. Now about it, faith, hope, and charity, the word charity is love. These three, but the greatest of these is charity or love. Amen. Love. Charity starts at home. Amen. Love starts at home. How can you learn to love others until you first love yourself? Then you can love those around you. First in Jerusalem, then in Judea, then in all the most other parts of the world. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Let the glory fall over. What am I saying? We got to learn to walk. All in love. If we walk in love one with the other, we know we're the children of God. He says, You will know their mind by the way they walk in love one toward the other. And I close with that. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. If you're lost or backslid, I don't know who's watching this video. Pray this with me. Jesus, forgive me my sins. I come to you a sinner. I ask you to forgive me my sins. Wash me. Cleanse me. Fill me with your spirit. I might make heaven my home. I believe you died on the cross that God the Father raised you from the dead. And I am saved in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Bless the Lord. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody's right ear just got healed in Jesus' name. The Holy Ghost just healed your right ear. Ear. Bless your Holy Ghost in Jesus' name. Somebody with hearing trouble, the ear just come open. Fire of the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I do love you, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. Now, if you're sick in your body, I'm going to pray right now. Write to me, whoever needs healing in their body, real quick. Write to me in Jesus' name. Let me know what I can pray for you with. And we're going to believe by the stripes of Jesus that your report, though it was one way, is going to change into something else. Write to me while I'm waiting on you right now, just a few minutes. Write to me in Jesus' name. I'm going to pray with you in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Now, 
Father, in Jesus' name, we just rebuke every devil of sickness. We command it to leave and loose them and let them go free. I command creative miracles in the name of Jesus. Father God, I thank you right now in Jesus' name. I hear the Holy Ghost say I'm healing you from wrong mindsets. Whoever that's for, somebody needs to be healed from wrong mindsets. Fire of God upon their mind. Heal their mind, Lord. In Jesus' name, Holy Ghost, I do love you, Lord. I rebuke every devil of wrong mindsets, wrong motives. In Jesus' name. Father God, in Jesus' name, I command create a miracle in the body. Spirit, soul, mind, in body be healed in Jesus' name. Because if Jesus heals your body, but he don't heal your inner man, whoa, shakarabo Sunday, then what in the world? You're going to die and go to hell healed in your body if he don't heal your inner man. Come on. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord Jesus. The greatest miracle is salvation. Sister, receive your healing right now in Jesus' name. I command that ear, them ears, be healed in Jesus' name. Come open in Jesus' name. Ring and stop in Jesus' name. Go in Jesus' name by the power of the Holy Ghost. Write to me, sister. Let me know what the Lord's done for you. I believe the Lord just healed your ears, and you're healed in Jesus' name forevermore. God healed you in Jesus' name. I command all that ringing to go in Jesus' name, Lord, and Answer the phone. Bless her Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Sister, I'm waiting for you. Let me know that the Lord touched you. In Jesus' name, by the power of the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. <clears throat> Father, I thank you for my brother that he would be healed in Jesus. Or I thank you, Father, that you're going to lead him in the right direction in the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that you're going to shut every door of the enemy and open doors from heaven that no man can shut, open the windows that no man can shut. Thank you, Holy Ghost, Lord Jesus. I apply the blood to the doorpost of his heart that he'd only be able to hear you in Jesus' name and not hear from the world in Jesus' name by the power of the Holy Ghost in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, you said that you would guide our steps. So lead him and guide him in Jesus' name, Holy Ghost. Your word is a light unto our feet and a lamp, a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord Jesus, with the power of God. Amen. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. The sister wrote to me just now and says she got healed of it, ringing in the ears. Glory, hallelujah, Holy Ghost. That spirit of tendonitis is gone in Jesus' name, and it won't be back. According to Nahum 1 9, the attack cannot come back. In Jesus' name, thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. Bless the Lord. Now, for those who'd be standing in for proxy, for those who need deliverance, Father, I thank you in Jesus' name for those who need deliverance in Jesus' name that they're delivered from wrong mindsets, wrong actions, Holy Ghost, right now in Jesus' name by the power of the Holy Ghost, Lord, I rebuke every devil of addiction. I bind it. I cast it out of them in Jesus' name. I command them go free for you. The sun sets free is free indeed in Jesus' name. Bless the Lord. Thank you, Holy Ghost. They're healed. They're delivered. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Now they're going to be set free. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Let the glory fall, Lord. I declare in Jesus' name no backlash, no desire to return in Jesus' name. Totally healed, totally set free, totally delivered. Holy Ghost power. Thank you, Jesus, for what you've done and what you're going to continue to do in the Lord. Father God, you are great and mighty, mighty to be praised, worthy is the Lamb of glory. Worthy is the Lamb. Worthy is the Lamb of glory. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord Jesus. Let the glory fall, Lord. Now, if you need healing, or to do, uh, well, yeah, you've been healed and delivered, but now if you need, uh, <laughs> bless you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I do love you, Lord. Thank God for everybody who's watching. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, right now, I rebuke every devil of addiction to narcotics. Lord, I thank you for deliverance from weed. I thank you for deliverance from drinking. I thank you for deliverance from pornography. Burn it out of him, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord. That's why the Lord went back to deliverance. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord. This is his business, not mine. Thank you, Lord. It's about, I'm about my father's business today. I do love you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord, for deliverance, for freedom, for healing. Deliverance in the Holy Ghost, in Jesus' name. For he who the sun sets free is free indeed. I do love you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I love you, Lord. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord. I thank you, Holy Ghost. Amen. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Fire, 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 fire. In Jesus' name, I love you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord. I do love you, Lord. Thank you. Let the glory, Holy Ghost. Let the glory fall, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. 
Now, if you have never been baptized in the Holy Ghost and fire, Jesus, you're the baptizer in the Holy Ghost and fire. Lord, I thank you. Hallelujah. I feel the joy of the Lord. Those who have been in depression, joy, 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 joy. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost, in Jesus' name. I pray for favor in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. I do love you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord, for your glory. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord. Jesus, you're the baptizer in the Holy Ghost and fire. And Lord Jesus, I ask you in Jesus' name, fill them up with the Holy Ghost and fire. Out of their belly will flow rivers of living water. I do love you, Lord. Out of their Thank you, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Lord, I thank you that you're filling them with Holy Ghost. Fire, fire, fire. Fire, fire. Be healed in Jesus' name. Right now, hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Friend, be healed of depression, sister, in Jesus' name. Fire, fire, fire. Bless you, Holy Ghost. I rebuke suicide. Off of your life, sister, in Jesus' name, I rebuke it. In Jesus' name, stress, anxiety, depression, oppression, go back to the pit which you came from. In Jesus' name, by the power of the Holy Ghost and fire. In Jesus' name, by the power of the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I do love you, Lord. Amen. Write to me here on Facebook. Let me know what the Lord has done for you. In Jesus' name, or email me, kidhenry, K-I-D-D, 617, at gmail.com. Kidhenry, 617, at gmail.com. I want to pray for you in Jesus' name. And tell me what the Lord has done. I want to get some emails off of this message. Let me know that the Lord's blessed you. Take the, take the binky out of your mouth. And get into the blessings of the Lord. Grow up in God. Get free in God. If your pastor rebukes you in love, walk in love. Let him rebuke you. Let him move with you in the Lord. Because they know where God's trying to get you to. So if they rebuke you, repent in love. And keep going. Don't leave the church just because you get offended with them. Keep going in God. He'll heal you, brother, in Jesus' name. Bless your Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord Jesus, for this message. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Kid Henry 617 at gmail.com. That's K I D D 617. K I D D H E N R Y 617. Gmail.com. Bless everybody, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord Jesus. A, a brother just got delivered. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. This is what the gospel is about. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Bless the power of the Lord under salvation. Thank you, Holy Ghost, for saving. Thank you for delivering. Thank you for healing people, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. This is what the gospel's all about. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for tuning into H. Holy Bibles, where it's always the hour for revival. I am your brother in the Lord, Brother H. R., and it's always the hour for revival. I love you. I'll see you there in the next meeting, or I'll see you in the air in heaven. I love you with all my heart. Write to me. Let me know what God has done, that he's healed you, that he's delivered you. In Jesus' name, I want to celebrate with you. God bless. I love you. Bye-bye.